four, three, two, one. We're going on a trip on our favorite blah, blah, blah. Hey guys, it's me, Tatiana, and today we are, and today I am going to be showing you how to make, how to make an notebook slash paper holder organizer plus cup, a cup, like a bag slash cup that holds your pens and markers. So yeah, let's get started. Started. The first thing that you're going to need is a box. A cereal box or which I'm using or any other box that you can fit your papers, notebooks. But I'm using a UPS box. I don't know why. Then the next step, step is decide where you want to put it because you can put it on a desk. Desk, drawer, cabinet, bookshelf, etc. Then mark out how your books will fit in there. Whoops. Ow. How your books will fit in there and what height you want it to be. So, like, I cut, I'm, I went from, I marked out there, there. And there, and then the same thing on the other side. Then, what you want to, then, what you want to do is cut where, the next thing that you, I'm sorry, I just don't know what to do, because this is like the first DIY or craft thing that I did. The next thing that you want to do is cut the box where, you marked cut the box where you marked it then you want to decide if you are going to wrap it in wrapping paper or if you're going to paint it then i have two as you can see because the way i cut it the way i cut it and marked it made two so one i'm going to this one i'm going to paint this one I'm going to wrap. So, ow. First, let's wrap because that is quicker. Just in my So, cover your surface. We, we are cover your surface that you're putting your glue on. I recommend doing spray paint, spray glue. And if you're using spray glue, which I am, it stings, so do it outside. And then my mom is wrapping it because I'm filming it and commenting. So then put your wrapping paper on. Also, I will show you this is how you can wrap. And I will also show you how... You can paint it. If your box isn't like rough, I'm like rough on the inside and it has like pictures and paintings on it. Like my UPS has like, it has that kind of ca cardboard and not like the brown cardboard. So, yeah. Just make and make sure you have all of it nice down, nice and down, nice, all down and smooth. And do it on, and do it to every single side.
and if you're doing this with spray glue you don't really have to get the bottom but we did make sure not to get it in your eyes and be safe with it and then that's how it looks when you're undone when you're almost done then you can either cut off cut, cut off any access or make strips of cuts and glue that inside so do either one of those also if you have someone else um gluing the thing on like your parents or your mom or your dad and like they cut cut off access and there's like these little pieces take them and rip it yeah yeah I was just able to do it it's easy so take them and rip them into pieces, into little pieces, but not so little, so that you won't get in trouble. And then, you're done. And now, now, if you're gonna paint your notebook holder, and it has like this smooth, like paint or something on it and it's not like as hard as it is like as it's here and it's like smooth and kind of shiny in the sun so you'd have to put some paper paper towels glue some paper towels on it so my mom is using a couple of paper towels and it's good and I have um, my mom's doing it because she's done this before and if I did it the paper towels would be ripped because right now she's using doing like she's taking one paper towel and one paper towel is made out of like two paper towels like this which she ah which she took apart the two parts and now she just taking that one and gluing gluing it on with spray paint again <laughs> and as you can see it blends through but that's okay because you are going to paint over it And by the way, that's another one. This is both of these are made out of one box. So there's so we are recycling. off any access unneeded access that you have yeah come here baby puppy puppy
the paper towels on all the sides. When you're done, just cut. When you're done, just cut off any unneeded excess and make sure all the sides are good. Like right there, it wasn't really that good. Then just clean up the area you're in, and if you're using spray glue, make sure nothing sticks onto you. The next step that that you're going that you're gonna need to do is paint. I'm painting like a beach and so the colors that I'm that I'm gonna be using are blue is sky blue ow I just hurt myself we haven't even started and I'm already covered in paint or yes or never mind then I'm going to be using leaf green Oh, it's horrible lighting. Horrible lighting. <laughs> so, like I was saying, sky blue. Leaf green. Now, there's going to be a part two because I have to go somewhere. Leaf green. Yellow pale. Titanium white, rose permanent, cri rose permanent crimson, red, and then black. So there's going to be part two because I have to go play tennis, which I love and I do not want to miss. So I'm going to go play tennis and there's going to be part two. So bye guys. I will see you in the next video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!